If your agency is stuck in the low five figures, here's the truth. Breaking past $100,000 a month takes a totally different game plan than getting to $10,000 a month. I've rebuilt from scratch before. Last time it took less than a year to cross a $100,000 a month mark. It wasn't luck, it wasn't some hack or overnight play. It was about building a system that does the heavy lifting for you every time. I've made every mistake you can make in this game, burned through budgets, launched offers that flopped, lost clients, started over more than once. But each reset forced me to find the core drivers that always work no matter what's changing. And things are changing. Client expectations, technology, competition. What worked two years ago is stalling out agencies everywhere. But if you know where the leverage is, this is the best window in years to break out. Here's the deal. Most people will keep spinning their wheels. You're here because you want a roadmap that actually scales. And that's exactly what I'm giving you. Six stages, the building blocks I'd use to rebuild from zero. Step by step with no theory and no guesswork. These are the same drivers behind every major agency growth story I know, including my own. Each stage is designed to compound your results so you can stack progress faster, whether you're just landing your first clients or you've already pushing for the next level. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to shortcut the single hardest part of scaling, a bottleneck even most veterans get trapped in and how to skip it. But if you want help applying these steps right now, or you want to see exactly how others are breaking through that same bottleneck, check out my private school community. Inside, you'll get new playbooks, live feedback, and a real network of founders building past $100,000 a month. Links below if you're ready to skip the trial and error. Now, let's get practical. If I had to start over and rebuild to $100,000 a month, this is exactly where I'd begin. Every agency that breaks through, mine included, starts by nailing one thing before anything else. Building block one, clarify your scalable agency model and core offer. This is where most agencies stall out, you're building, maybe you've landed a few clients, but growth hits a ceiling. The culprit, most founders can't clearly answer what they actually do, who it's for, or how they'll scale beyond a handful of projects. I've coached and worked alongside dozens of agencies. Every single one that broke past $100,000 a month started by getting brutally clear on one core scalable surface. There was no exception. So the goal here is to get crystal clear on one offer people actually want, so everything from selling to scaling gets a lot easier. Most agencies get stuck chasing custom projects. We do everything positioning or saying yes to anything that pays. But the reality is, if you're offering a menu of services, you're building complexity, not value. Ever notice how the biggest agencies are famous for one thing? There's a reason, you can't scale chaos. So here's the playbook. Start by picking one B2B offer that's already in demand. Not something you wish companies wanted, but something you see them buying right now in the real world. Then check for three signals. First, are there other agencies already making real money from this? Second, is it a top pain or urgent need for your ideal client? And third, can you deliver it over and over without starting from scratch every time? Let me give you a quick example. I work with an agency that used to offer a laundry list of digital marketing services, basically anything for anyone. The breakthrough, they dropped everything except outbound appointment setting for software companies. And within two months, their close rate doubled. Simple offer, bigger results. Or look at your own client list. Out of all your projects, which ones were most profitable or led to the best referrals? That's usually a signal of where your real leverage is. The second you narrow your focus, everything compounds. Your sales pitch gets sharper, your fulfillment gets faster, and suddenly you're not selling your time, you're selling a system. Think of it like this, every hour you spend customizing is an hour you could have spent scaling a repeatable machine. So try this, pause the video and write down your last five projects. Which one felt repeatable and would you take on 20 more of that exact same client? If so, that's your core offer moving forward. So if you want real growth, stop chasing shiny objects or jack of all trades branding. Get clear on one core offer, who it's for and how you'll deliver it again and again. That's the foundation every $100,000 a month agency is built on. Once you know exactly what you sell and who it's for, the only thing that matters next is proof. That's why building block two is all about stacking undeniable proof as fast as possible. You can't just claim you're the best or that your service is truly next level because everyone says that and nobody cares. What moves the needle is proof. If you want clients at scale, you need undeniable documented results. Think of it like collecting receipts. Actual before and after wins you can show off, not just promises you can make. 
Picture this, you're still early, maybe a handful of clients in. Most people try to maximize margin, upsell or stack every billable hour. But what you should do is chasing case studies like your business depends on it because in fact it does. Let me get specific. Early on, I couldn't really get any traction. Cold outreach, hardly any responses. Sales calls, always very skeptical. Why? Because I didn't have proof. So I flipped my priorities. For months, I worked at break even, sometimes even for less, just to get five strong case studies and permission to share the numbers. The result is that everything changed afterwards. Sharing those client wins online turned why should I trust you into when can we start. When you've got proof, your offer truly becomes magnetic. Every client you lend becomes your best advertisement. Social proof is the shortcut through skepticism, especially if you're new, unknown or pitching bigger brands. So if you're at the point where you have a couple of clients and you're thinking about raising prices or chasing profit, stop. Make it your mission to turn every client into a future testimonial, document every win, screenshot results, collect feedback, video, whatever you can. Make it impossible for anyone to doubt you. If you optimize for proof now, you'll outpace everyone still chasing quick cash. It is the difference between hustling for every deal and clients coming to you already pre-sold. And once you've got undeniable proof, there's only one thing left, turning that proof into a real pipeline. And that's funnily enough where most agencies trip up. Instead of putting their wins directly in front of the right buyers, they stall out, waiting on referrals, getting lost in content or hoping for inbound leads that never show up. So building block three, this is where the game shifts. Once you've got proof, scaling comes down to one thing, getting in front of more of the right people fast and automation is how you do it. I learned this the hard way. In the early days, I'd spent hours handpicking dream clients, sending maybe 20 messages a day, waiting on replies. Some weeks, nothing happened. But when I finally built an automated system, my outreach went from 20 emails a day to 2000 a week overnight. So suddenly I was booking calls on autopilot, not just crossing my fingers for referrals. Because the reality is, if you want a steady stream of new clients, you can't rely on luck. The agencies that scale put their offer in front of thousands of qualified buyers every single month. So how do you get there? Start with your ICP, know exactly who you want to work with, then build your list, enrich it with all the right details, let AI personalize your email openers, automate the sends and manage your replies so nothing slips through the cracks. Instead of working harder, you're working smarter and a lot bigger. Picture this, even if just 1% replies, that's 10 to 20 real conversations from every thousand emails. So no more hoping for leads, just a pipeline you control. And listen, automation isn't an excuse for spam. The agencies winning today, they use tech to multiply quality, not replace it. It's your best work, just delivered at scale. If you want to see the exact stack, workflows and scripts I use, click the link below. Inside my school, you can copy the system, get live support and join a network of founders already scaling past or to $100,000 a month. Bottom line, manual outreach is a good way to get started, but automation gets you free. Build your system, put your offer in front of the right people and your pipeline never runs dry. Of course, fitting the pipeline is just step one. Next, I'll show you how to deliver results without drowning as your client list grows. By now, you've locked in one clear offer, stacked real proof and built a system to put that offer in front of thousands of the right prospects. That's the engine behind every agency that scales past six figures. But here's where most founders hit a wall because all that growth creates a new problem, chaos on the delivery side. Maybe you felt it already, leads are flowing, new clients are coming in, but every project is different. Onboarding turns into a scramble and quality slips as you try to juggle it all. Building block four is about fixing this for good, turning chaos into clarity by setting up an assembly line for your agency so you can deliver consistent results as things scale up. The agencies that break through don't just ramp up sales, they master delivery at scale. That means every client gets the same high quality experience, whether you're juggling five projects or 50. And the best part, you can build this even if you're solo right now. Because once your fulfillment is dialed in, growth isn't a gamble anymore, it becomes a flywheel. Most agencies never reach this stage, but if you can, scaling becomes the default. So what does an assembly line agency actually look like? Let's break it down. 
First, document everything you do for a client, even if it feels obvious or simple. The next time you onboard someone, screen record your process, write out your best onboarding email, save your reporting template. You're building assets that let you deliver, not just do work. Next, templatize and checklist every step. Every client should move through the same steps, signed contract, standard onboarding form, clear kickoff call with a set agenda, weekly or bi-weekly check-in reports. If you catch yourself writing the same instructions or repeating a process, turn it into a template or a simple checklist. Over time, the goal is simple. Any good operator could step in and deliver your service without you having to explain every step over and over again. Now, why does this matter so much? Because most agencies get trapped at 10,000, 20,000, even 30,000 a month for one reason, their product isn't productized. Every new client means new headaches, and that's when delivery starts to break, quality drops and reputation suffers as a result of that. When you systemize, onboarding, fulfillment, even client communication, everything compounds. You get your time back, quality goes up, not down, and when it's time to hire, you're not training from scratch. You hand over the playbook and someone is just ready to roll with it. An agency I worked with used to do custom proposals and onboarding for every client. Total chaos. The second they switched to a fixed package and a step-by-step -step onboarding flow, client satisfaction went up and their team could handle double the accounts with half the stress. So if you're solo, this is still your move. Systemize now so you never have to backtrack when things do get busy. So this week, challenge yourself, record a loom for every process, build your onboarding and reporting templates, create a checklist for each core step, even if you're the only one using it right now. The moment you're not reinventing the wheel for every client, scaling feels a lot less chaotic because the real unlock, once delivery is tight, you're free to focus on what really drives the next level, which is authority. And that's where we're headed next. Building block five, unlock the authority flywheel. Let's talk about the real differentiator between agencies that plateau and the ones everyone chases, which is authority. You've already stacked proof. Now it's time to put it to work in the market because in 2025, the agencies that win aren't just the best at delivery. They're the ones who turn the results, frameworks and stories into a brand everyone knows. Here's the shift. In the old days, you could grow just by being good enough and staying quiet, but not anymore. Now the agencies that get inbound charge premium and attract opportunities are the ones that teach what they know publicly. Think of authority as a flywheel. Every win you document, every breakdown you share, every lesson you publish makes you harder to compete with. Instead of chasing every deal, you're building leverage, new leads come in warmer, sales cycles get shorter and pricing resistance drops. So how do you build such a flywheel? Well, start with the proof you already have. Publish case studies, client wins on LinkedIn, YouTube, and email, but don't just post results, show how you got there, break down your process, explain your method, the framework behind your service, the decisions you make, the mistakes you fixed. For example, I started posting client wins, workflows, and even cold email breakdowns every single week on my channel and my other social media platforms. That visibility snowballed, prospects came to calls pre-sold, Referrals picked up and my rates went up as a result of that without needing to sell any harder on calls. Picture this, you become the go-to person for your specialty. When prospects are shopping, your name pops up because you've published more proof, more thinking and more results than anyone else. That's how you go from just another agency to the only choice agencies people can make. And when your brand stands for something, when the market knows you for results and real insight, you unlock inbound, pricing power, and an endless stream of new clients. So if you want to break out of the client chasing grind, make it your mission to teach, share, and document. That is how you build authority that compounds even while you sleep. And once your brand is out there, attracting opportunities on autopilot, you hit a new inflection point. Scaling is no longer about working harder or landing one more client. Now it's about stacking the right systems and multiplying everything you've built so your agency keeps growing even when you're not there to pulling every lever. But this is where most founders get stuck again. Authority brings you attention and inbound leads, but scaling past 30, 50, $100,000 a month 
that takes a whole new set of moves, one that most agency owners never master. Building block six is where you go from busy to truly scalable. This is where you layer in real leverage, systems, team, paid ads, and upsells. The stuff that makes you go from high performing to truly unstoppable. Think of each building block so far as a gear in a machine. Up to now, you've built the engine, fueled it, and put it on a map. Now you flip the switch that lets it run at scale, consistently, predictably, and with compounding results. So what does scaling actually look like? Well, first, this is when paid ads finally start to make sense. Before this, ads are just expensive noise. But once you have a proven offer, solid proof, tight delivery, and real authority, you can pour fuel on the fire. You start with a real ad budget, think three to $10,000 a month, not 300 bucks a month. Because now every client that comes in can be handled without chaos and you know the numbers work. Next, you expand your outbound systems. Maybe you open up new verticals, new geographies or new messaging angles because your fulfillment is locked in and your team can handle the new volume. The days of scrambling to deliver are finally over. Third, you build a real team, not just VAs or freelancers, but real specialists, fulfillment, onboarding, client success, project managers. You hire for your bottleneck, whether that's delivery or sales. You move from just get it done to who is doing it best. The bottleneck will no longer be you. You also get serious about business fundamentals. You track churn, your model client lifetime value. You know your cost to acquire a customer and your profit per account. Scaling isn't just about more clients. It's about more profit, more predictability, and most of all, less chaos. And finally, you multiply your revenue by adding upsells, cross sales or new offers for your best clients. Because it's almost always easier to sell more to people who already trust you than to keep hustling for new leads and new clients. Well, why does this matter? Because this is the leap from self-employed to business owner. You're not just stacking more hours, you're actually stacking assets. Every system, every new hire, every repeatable process adds a new flywheel to your agency. Growth becomes a function of leverage, not just hustle. Here's the trap most founders fall into. They try to jump straight to the stage, turning on ads, hiring or adding offers before they've nailed their offer, proof, delivery and brand. That's why they stall out, burn cash or feel like the wheels are coming off. But if you move through each building block in order, scaling to $100,000 a month and beyond comes a function of execution, not hope. So those are the six building blocks, the real roadmap behind every agency that breaks through. Let's zoom out for a second. You started with a single scalable offer that cuts through the noise. You stack proof, real wins, real results, so no one could doubt you. You turn growth into a system, putting your offer in front of thousands of the right buyers, not just hoping for referrals. You build an assembly line for delivery, so clients get the same results every time at any scale. You used authority, publishing results, teaching your method, building a brand that brings opportunity to you, and you layered in leverage, ads, outbound, team, and upsells, so your agency grows like a machine, not just from hustle. If you map it out, every step is a multiplier for the one before it. Miss a stage and the system breaks, nail them in order, and $100,000 a month isn't just possible, it'll be your baseline. But most importantly, this isn't theory or recycled advice. This is the path I followed, helped others implement and watched work in the trenches. If you're ready to stop guessing and start stacking real growth, this is your exact blueprint. Now, if you want to shortcut this entire process, get my exact playbooks and see how other founders are scaling past or to a hundred thousand dollars a month, click the link in the description and join my private school community. You'll get access to step-by-step -step systems, live feedback and a network of NG owners building alongside you. So you can skip the trial and error and start stacking real wins even faster. Check it out below by clicking the first link in the description. I'll see you guys inside.